Alright, in this quick video, I just wanted to show you a way to get your computer to run cooler. Alright, this will drop your temperatures almost immediately. I'm not sure if this is a bug in Windows 7. I'm not sure if it's a bug somewhere between the firmware on the Corsair program or not. But as you can see, when I first turn on my computer, I'm running at 70 degrees C, 75 C. Alright, I'm not playing any games. I'm not running anything. Uh, as you can see, you know, there ain't nothing going right now. Now the weird part about this is if you go over to your control panel, alright, and it's on the desktop, not a laptop, go over to your control panel, hit power options, balance, okay, and then just restore to default. Just restore your settings to default and then close it. And now check out these temperatures. Now I'm not sure what's causing this. But um, it'd be cool if, if some of y'all could go check that out and see if that's affecting your PC's performance, if your temperatures do in fact decrease. Um, as you saw, the power setting options aren't altered or changed. Um, yet, for some reason, if you still restore it to default, the temperatures begin to drop. Alright, now I know it'll get down to about in the 30s um, if I just let it sit here. Um, I've been running it like that for a little bit. It is extremely hot here in Germany right now. That's another thing I want to point out. It is at 90 degrees, 94 degrees outside. So at 94 degrees ambient, because it's probably that hot in this room. It got to be at least 89, 90. It's really, really hot. So I did expect the temperatures to be a little higher than usual. But, uh, you know, in the 70s, uh, with a 25 drop immediately following the adjustment in the control panel settings, um, yeah, I really felt like this was something I, I, I should share that might help y'all. All right, now remember, um, I'm also recording this as I'm streaming it, so I'm sure that's playing a part in where the temperatures are settled. Uh, but as you see, they continue to go down. All right, so you go ahead and try that out on your PC, and uh, let me know if that worked for you. Drop something down in the comments below. Share it with people if the result worked for you. If it didn't, did your temperatures change? Did they stay the same? Um, let us know so we can get to the bottom of this. Who, wh where is it coming from? Is it Windows 7? Is it the Corsair app? Is there a firmware problem? You know, I know if it's Corsair, they'll take care of it. But first, we got to try to figure out if that's the problem. So thank you all for watching. Thanks for the support. And I'll catch you boys on the next one.